Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the M4A1 tactical rifle in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, how you're going to actually unlock it in the game, as well as we're going to be going over some of the stats as well as some of the attachments on the weapon itself. But real quick before we jump into that, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss a future upload. Over 70% of you guys that are currently watching my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel so if you're enjoying the content make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any future uploads. So the M4A1 Tactical currently is probably one of the more rare guns in Ghost Recon Breakpoint because it is actually obtained by reaching level 47 in the battle rewards and I know the first thing you guys are going to be saying in the comment section now is how come he how is he already at level 47 and that is because originally when the game came out there was actually the ability to purchase a booster as well as you could purchase individual tiers and I bought the booster and a few tiers because as a content creator here on YouTube it is my job to kind of give you guys feedback on those items so that you guys will know if it is worth the grind to get those items and that is why we made it to level 47 last night and overall I'm really enjoying the M4A1 tactical as you guys can see here it is a tactical variant that actually has an integrated suppressor and it is very accurate but do take note that this is a single shot and burst weapon you cannot put this in full auto and with this particular weapon I have it ranked up to a mark 3 so so the three passive bonuses that you're going to have on this weapon are going to be plus 10 reload speed after a kill plus one mobility after a kill, as well as you're going to have plus 10 handling after a kill. And you're not actually able to put an extended magazine on this weapon. You can put the small and standard magazines. You have the typical rail sights, but there is no reason to put anything else on this weapon than the mall laser. I actually put up a video the other day talking about this rail attachment, and it is definitely the best rail attachment in the game. I will link that video down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. Also, it has your standard sights for most assault rifles. And me personally, I usually run the digital sight because it is the closest thing to the ACOG in the game right now. And then the underbarrel attachments, we have the RVG vertical foregrip, we have the tactical vertical foregrip, as well as the underbarrel grenade launcher. But here you can see we have the vented angled foregrip, and I have not actually seen this foregrip in the game on any other weapon, and I have not found it in game, and I'm not sure if this is unique to this weapon or it's on other weapons. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have seen this vertical foregrip or you have found it in the open world. And as you guys can see there, it decreases your time to aim by 7%, but it also increases increases your horizontal recoil by 15% as well as it decreases the vertical recoil by 5% and it also increases your speed while aiming by 5% and like I said I have never seen this vertical foregrip in the game let me know down below if you guys have seen this but the other thing to take note is is in back in Ghost Recon Wildlands there was actually a pistol in the game that had an integrated suppressor and I've noticed that it almost depends on the base but some bases this weapon behaves normally but there are other bases that it seems like there's no suppressor on your weapon I'm not sure if that's a bug or a glitch or something in the game being the fact that this is one of the very few weapons or the only weapon for that matter that has an integrated suppressor but overall I'm really enjoying using this weapon but do take note that this weapon is definitely for the more accurate player because like I said you cannot put this weapon in full auto and the weapon is definitely at its best using the semi-auto fire as well as once you level it up to mark 3 it is going to have the same damage as the standard m4 but it will also have an integrated suppressor but overall that's pretty much going to do it for the video I just kind of wanted to give you guys an in-depth look at the m4a1 tactical and how you can actually obtain this weapon. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys are excited about grinding to the M4A1 tactical, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on the latest information surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Jesus, I'm gonna do a dance when we finally get out of this hole. When is that supposed to happen again? It's fine, Heidi. I, just, I can't believe the outcast. <laughs> Thank you. 
nothing out here. Huh? Ah! Take a look. Oh. 